What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today if you guys are not at your console and you're wondering what v2.5 is all about. I am going to be live streaming in about a half an hour so depending on when I put this video up I've already probably live streamed already so make sure and check that out if you haven't already but we will live stream everything in more detail and have a complete breakdown right but Look, V2.5 is out in the wild. We're going to get through everything. We're going to start with Season 4 kickoff campaign, which is going to be the new campaign that they've kicked off with a login bonus and also a new V2.5 tied-in campaign, if that makes sense, right? So that means that there's going to be campaign objectives, there's going to be special login bonuses, as well as your daily login bonus and your daily match day rewards and match pass rewards, right? So they say that they're holding a campaign to commemorate the start of the new v uh, 2.5 season 4 kickoff right and then you you it also says you get your hands on the new training item skill training programs right so i'm going to show you what that means right so basically what they're doing is for the next week um there's going to be a special logging campaign which gives you a skill training program this effectively means that you are going to be able to give any player in your squad a brand new skill we're going to show you that in a second we also have campaign objectives they're just the normal ones we'll get through that and it is for the next two weeks as you can see there there will be the first week from the 13th to the 20th and then there'll be a second one you will get a maximum of 14 skill training programs right so we can see it there and you also if you complete all the campaign objectives you get another further three skill trainers and you also get 60,000 trainer xp and 180,000 gp right so on top of that we also have a free uh, Gabriel Barbosa campaign present that will be in your inbox um, it's just a special ambassador pack and it says that if you want to compete in the special tour event it is the tour event that we'll see here in a second we have a new match pass as well players in the match pass aren't great in my opinion we will have a, a video on that as well um, but you do have all your normal kind of like rewards and stuff they're the free players that's the value and that's the premium one Marcus Lorente looks quite decent um yeah i mean it is what it is i think that they're given kind of poor enough players there right so nothing in authentic match events this week they will add some stuff though they've mentioned we'll get into that in a sec and in dream team this is what i was talking about with the events here the special brasilia brasileiro one as well which is against the ai so these are the these are the rewards against the ai you can sim these matches you get 20,000 trainers for the first 250 points that you amass, and then you get 500 points, you get 30,000 GP, 1,000 points, you get another 20,000, another 30,000, another 20,000 GP, and then that is it until after every other 1,000 points, you just get uh, 100 GP, right? So that's fairly decent. We also have this AI match that is your player of the week. Um spin your free spin that one is ongoing from last week and we also have these two new ones as well which are not new to rinse and repeats you get 50 e-football coins that's for playing with clubs and then this one is for playing with national teams and all you have to do i think is is get five points um across nine games i think that's what you do to get the ultimate 50 coin reward the e-football league is still ongoing that is not going to be reset until 11th of may so you have time to compete in that and that is obviously going to tie back in with the match pass, which is new as well. Same as everything else, lads. There's, you know, people were saying co-op was coming. I did try to say that, you know, it wasn't going to be coming in this, but people um, would still believe, you know, fake clickbait links and all that. But we'll get into that again. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, right. Just to cover through some of the stuff here that they've talked about and go through the actual update notes, which they always like to do, right? They have added upcoming events here. So scheduled to begin on the 13th of the 4th, which is today, we have the Worldwide Clubs. Then following on for that, we're going to have J-League. Then we're going to have clubs again. We're going to have Liga BBVA. Then we're going to have the Italian League on the 27th. In the 1st of May, we're going to have the J-League. And then the 4th of May, we're going to have the Spanish League. So it's kind of like a four-day content cycle um, that you're going to have with uh, events here. And this is going to be for Season 4. And in these events, you'll be able to get your hands on coins, skill trainer programs, level trainer programs, and other items as rewards, right? Now, they do mention about player skills as well, and they talk about the player skills. We've mentioned these before, but just to show you very quickly how they work, right? You have two new things added to V2.5. So the first one is on this screen, you will see that you can now add by pressing triangle, or that's going to be Y on Xbox or PC, and it will say add, and it'll add player slots, and it's going to cost you 500,000 to increase the capacity of your players so you can see here we have 500 we've got capacity of our players is 448 out of 500 which means that i can only sign another 52 players right but when you actually upgrade this and you click add 
it's going to add another uh, 50 player slots on. I think it's 50 anyway, um, which we can add there. So we will do that on the live stream and show you. Um, you also have the strips. People have been talking about the strips. We will get into that as well, that you'll be able to buy new strips and stuff. Um, we'll cover that in a second as well. So on from that, we also have the player skills, right? So if you are looking to add a player skill to a player, let's say we want to have um uh, Goretzka right one of Goretzka's key um player skills that he doesn't have for this role that I'm playing him in is blocker right so if we want to go in here and press square instead of now having you know just two options we also have these two skill training and legacy transfer right so the first one is skill training is very very easy right so you have a list of the player skills that the player has there you have the player's card to the left and then when we click this um, we don't have enough items here at the moment because I haven't claimed it from the inbox, but these are going to be the login bonuses that you see here, right? And all that it happens is you're going to be able to acquire these new skills. So um, when we go back out here, right, and we go into our inbox, which is where everything will be, we will show you very, very quickly, right? So we're going to have Gabriel Barbosa. We're going to have the gift uh, from the Momentum Dribbling. We'll get to that in a second. But all the way down here, um, we're going to have all our rewards, including this skill training program, right? So we'll receive all those. Barbosa's joined the team. Now when we go back in, you will see that, say for the likes of Goretzka here, we have now got Goretzka, and he is going to be able to do a skill trainer here. So it says skill slot available. So the player skills on his left are already the ones he has. Cut behind and turn, heading, rising shot, all the way down to fighting spirit. These now we can add, right? So it's random, right? It is random, but you will not be able to get a duplicate player skill, Okay. So we will be doing that as well in the live stream. All you do is click on this and you will get one of these skills from this list, from the complete list of a skill that he doesn't have. So you could get anything. You could get long throw, you could get low loft to pass, you could get no look pass, but you also could get blocker, right? So you'll have five chances of doing it. And then obviously you can keep rinsing and repeating it and a maximum of 15 player skills per player instead of 10. So that's going to be interesting to see and you can train up any player. So this could be huge for even the likes of somebody like Paddy Vieira, right? We obviously have only got one day left on Vieira's contract, so we're going to need to renew that. We will cover that as well. But Vieira doesn't have blocker, but we might be able to get blocker on this card by kind of rolling the dice with it, right? As well as that, we also do have a load of, um, or sorry, we do have the legacy transfer system as well, okay? So say, for example, you have got multiple versions of the same player, okay? Say the likes of Haaland, right? We can go to legacy transfer. And what this will effectively do is it is going to experience points carry over. The selected player's experience points will be carried over. Additional skills carry over. So anything that this player has is going to be transferred to the new players, right? And then when you actually go down here, we will not be able to do any player that is fully maxed out. From here, every, every one of these players is going to be inel ineligible, right? Because we, ha we have to have Haaland. So you have to legacy transfer from one player to the next. So for example, right, if we wanted to do this with Kamavinga, who we have, um, we will show you exactly what happens, right? If you've got multiple versions of the same player, but like, let's just say, for example, right, you've got a version of a player um, that you want to sign, okay? Say you've got Kamavinga with blocker or interception, but you get a new version of that player and you want to transfer everything over to him, then this is the way to do it. So it is an interesting little um, way of kind of adding a bit of spice to your squads and stuff and giving you another option. Um, it isn't really explained, so I will try and show you as best as I possibly can. But for example here, if you've got multiple versions of the same player, right? Say these two boys here, okay? And then you also have, say, Vinicius Jr. here, right? If you've got multiple versions of the same player, when you're training a player up, you're obviously going to want to kind of like uh, have the best version of the player, and then you're going to want to take all the, all the stats that you have with him to that player, if that makes sense, right? So say for the likes of Vinicius Jr., okay? If we train up Vinicius Jr. here, right? And we give him, I don't know, let's just say 10,000 trainer points, right? Or we don't even need that for this one, right? Say we give him 1,000 trainer points, okay? We're going to train him up here. We're going to close this out. We're going to go into his player progression. And then we're going to just, you know, boost up his dribbling, okay? We're going to boost up his dribbling. We're going to go back out. That's going to turn him in to um, an 83 overall, right? So when we go to legacy transfer now, okay? And let me just see here for a second. I will just try and speed this up. Right, even somebody like Isco. When we click on Isco, right? 
it's going to cost us, we're going to perform this legacy transfer, right? The player will be erased from your team, okay? So what happens is when you actually press 4,000 GP, that's going to cost you 4,000 GP to do that. And it's going to give you the, the trainer points there, right? So now when we go into player uh, progression, we're going to have new player stats there that we have transferred from Isco, his experience. It's basically like the old Pez game, lads. It's basically like that. So we will now be able to train him up instead of using. So if you've got any players that you want to not use anymore, instead of releasing them, and then getting the trainer points, you can now just, you know, cut out the middleman and just delete the player straight away, put his XP towards the new player, right? On top of that, we also have the new players, right? So I'm going to be doing reviews on all of these. We have Momentum Dribbling, we have the Player of the Week, we also have these uh, Masterful Stars, which are available for nominating contracts, some good ones in there, I will get to them. Uh, Kiesa, Marquinhos, Fabinho, all very decent players. And then we also have that for the J-League, nominating contracts, and then last but not least, with the eFootball point shop, right? We're obviously going to have new objectives and stuff in that as normal. In the eFootball point shop, we are now going to have strips, right? So there is going to be strips added to this that you will be able to buy. Um, the same way as there was players and the same way that there was items here, right? Now, the big one is the contract renewal. That's going to be something that we focus on as well. And that is the last thing we will show you, right? So for the contract renewal, when you actually release a player now, you're going to get a contract renewal of a special five-star player, right? So just for example, if we wanted to cancel here and we want to uh, sort by, well, let me see. We want to filter by five-star. So player value is going to be a five-star, right? And it's going to be a special five-star player. So anyone will do just to show you uh, for this. So say for Handanovic here, right? If we actually release this guy, we go in here and we release him. We're going to now get, instead of just getting trainer programs and contract or and 28,000 GP, we're also going to get going to get a 10-day contract renewal. So any special player that you have that's a non-standard five-star, any of these that we have here are going to be able to be released for... Um, the contract right so when we try to release pedri okay pedri is a standard version of the player so if we release him we're not going to get that uh, contract renewal so just be careful of that it has to be a special five star player a player that you would have signed that is a special version not a player that you've you've signed um that is a like a boosted up version so say this immobile here right if we release him we're going to get it because he's from the italian pack right so we get our 10 day contract renewal there we'll release him and that's it but if we release just a standard version such as Mane, we're not going to get that okay we're not going to get that uh, contract renewal we get the gp in the trainer program but we won't get the contract renewal so that's just something to keep in mind but anyway lads, that is it for me longer video than i thought there's a good bit to cover there and we haven't even touched on the notes um but we will just take a quick look at those it says that the new update we already covered skill training legacy trainer the updates to the american league um the team data there's a lot of players that have got new uh, uh faces and stuff kit models and um, player models all that they have talked about gameplay but i am going to be doing an extra video on that right so there's a lot of stuff to get into with the gameplay that we will focus on um and it's going to take its own video so i'll be back with another update of that until next time peace